The push to raise productivity in the construction sector is taking on a new focus this year. New rules will soon take effect, pushing for greater use of productive technologies like prefabricated components. Now, from the second half of 2014, developers will be required to use prefabricated bathroom units, or PBUs, for all residential projects on government land sales sites. Singapore Contractors Association says this is a significant step in getting upstream players like developers on board productivity initiatives. Lynette Lim has the report. These prefabricated bathroom units are like Lego blocks, blocks that are hoisted up by a crane and then stacked one on top of another. On average, prefab components like this already make up one third of each construction project by city developments. That's the highest level of prefab adoption among private developers in Singapore. This prefabricated bathroom unit was transported from a factory in Johor, Malaysia. And if you look inside, the fixtures here are installed right on site at this construction site in Sengkang. And developer CDL says that with the new rules, more projects could have a prefabricated component in them in the near future. Channel News Asia understands that currently, private developers in general have very few projects with prefab and any prefab component is usually limited to the rubbish chutes and staircases. The push towards greater adoption of prefab will also help mitigate the rising cost of foreign labour. In countries like uh, Australia, their labour cost is almost four times as that of Singapore. In Hong Kong, it's about three times more than ours. In these countries, uh, developers have no choice but to adopt uh, extensive prefabrication to address the high worker salaries. In Singapore, with the recent stringent control on foreign labour and with uh, uh, prefab bathrooms mandated, we foresee that our country is trending towards Hong Kong, Australia and Japan. Despite more prefab work coming along, contractors say it will be easy for them and their subcontractors to adapt. And that's because productivity initiatives will be built in right from the upstream or design phase. The main contractor will might, uh, just tender the project and then he will subcontract to the, the medium size and then he might have sub-sub also. So the bigger guy will, will teaching the smaller guy anyway to learn the, the other part. Some, not necessarily the, the smaller guy will be, you know, run our job because they also there's a need, like a specialised thing anyway like installation. If you use precast, they are doing installation. The Contractors Association estimates that costs for construction projects could increase by 10% in the short term because of the cost of transporting prefab blocks. However, as the building industry adopts higher levels of prefab construction in the near future, CDL says more precast supply could enter the market, thereby lowering costs.